Hello, how are you? My name is Alejandro Sandoval and this is the Solar Negocios video blog for the August 7th edition of the Solar Negocios Bulletin with a summary of it uh, where we have as a highlight the Mexican peso appreciated once again with the following pressures. The Bloomberg Dollar Spot Index decreased 0.14% basically because there was there were not great um, or, or a great deal of information regarding the trade war even when the trade war is uh, well on and the u.s last week threatened china with a new round of tariffs and china threatened uh, the u.s with uh, with a retaliation of these tariffs the truth is that today there were not there was not information so that's why at least in that position it didn't hurt the whole economy and specifically the Bloomberg dollar spot index diminished today in terms of oil uh, it went up in value given several aspects that I will come in, in a few uh, seconds also in the trend for a statistical and financial point of view there is a downward break of the 18 pesos 50 uh, uh, cents where uh, it was broken and given this, this is a key to hope of uh, keep improving or recovering the Mexican peso. So the following days we expect appreciation, that's basically what it means, but we will see what happens. At least if there's no great information on trade war, it seems that the rest of indicators should not move much this trend for the Mexican peso. In terms of NAFTA, there is a wait uh, with optimism of uh, the negotiations to take place between the three countries. Last week was Mexico with the US, and now it will be a trilateral, a trilateral uh, meeting which will end the negotiations for the NAFTA. Uh, we have two thirds of the agreement already uh, completed and arranged and agreed. And we are expecting that given that Mexico seems to be accepting in the automotive, automotive sector the increase in rules of origin then we will be able to see a faster movement over other aspects that are uh, not uh, being yet uh, agreed in the, under this agreement. We will see what happens with that. In terms of Banco de Mexico, the exchange hedges were demanded 1.95 times. And well, this means that there's a little less volatility. Support 18 pesos per dollar, this is a new support. Resistance 1876 at the wholesale market. The spread between banks, 1.13 uh, pesos with one cent up, just respect to yesterday. Mm -hmm. And the futures are better, although it was better yesterday than today. The linear trend for the following uh, short term, it's 30 days for banks, it's improving, appreciation for the Mexican peso. But also, and after several weeks of depreciation for the interbanking mm -hmm. exchange rate, well, now we have uh, an appreciation trend for the Mexican peso for the following 30 days, which it comes uh, aligned with the expectations of the support and resistance positions for the wholesale market. In the oil market today, we had an increase in the value of oil of all the barrels we take into account, West Texas Intermediate, Brent, Mexican mix, and also OPEC mix. And this is due to the entering to action of the sanctions from the US to Iran due to the nuclear deals. Uh, well, Iran had 3 million barrels exported in July. So we will see how much these sanctions affect because the US expects its allies to align with the sanctions and apply them to against Iran. But many of them are not necessarily agreeing with these sanctions. So, for example, China might not uh, impose those sanctions against Iran and we will see if this implies that there won't be a great deal of effect on these exports reported for July for this country of Iran and therefore this oversupply situation that was expected given the limitations of uh, increased production for Arabia Saudita and Russia or Saudi Arabia and Russia which not necessarily are able to do or compensate whatever will be missed from Iran and Venezuela. But if uh, Iran keeps exporting their, their barrels to countries like China, they might not even need that in those increases in OPEC. So we will see what happens. At least for the time being, there's not much information to analyze if the sanctions will have 
real effects in uh, Iran's economy and specifically oil exports. Finally, there's a global heat wave war uh, during this summer, which implies an increase in oil demand given the usage of uh, resi residential and industrial refrigeration. So we will see if this implies also a compensation of this oil usage. And also tomorrow we have a year inventories report and we will see how they come and they apply for the expectations of a, de a decrease on, on last week's report. Thank you very much for your attention. We'll catch you tomorrow. Thank you.